We'll start with the Mustard R47 size 8 stream uh, hook. And we need a short length of, this is medium, uh, 0.6mm lead wire. And we just hold that in position at the front. It's very important this weight on this pattern because it gives the whole fly uh, movement. It's not only to get it down, it's uh, this uh, determines the whole swimming action of the pattern. We just put that on and then we'll hold that in position while we twizzle that on. Push this together. There we are. And we've got 6 o olive tying thread. So we just start there and we go back. This has been a fantastic still water pattern. Uh, remove that. And we take a, this is a medium olive marabou plume. So what we want is just find the centre stem and about that far down we just cut it out like so. And we could take a hackle plier and put that on the end and just gather everything up so we can make that nice tail. I like to make the tail a little longer as again this gives the swimming action that will do as good there. So we just tie that in. Let's tack it in with a couple of turns and check it. That's great. And just go back and then we we'll go forward right the way once we get to the lead wire we go over the lead wire just loosely and then when we're in front we tighten down this will hold the lead in position. I can trim that off. Work our way back over the lead wire again. To there. Now I'm using some uh, magic glass V-rib. This is olive. And we'll tie this in just at the back of the thorax. And once that's tied in then we stretch it as we go down the body, tighten up right to the tail base there and then we can go back up to back there and what we want is keep the tail out the way. Now as we begin to wrap this we stretch it at the uh, base of the tail and then we slacken off the stretch as we go up the abdomen. This will give a little bit more tapering to the body. And we want about uh, about eight turns on this hook size. So that will do us there and then I can come in and tie that off there. Secure it properly. And then we can again stretch that a little and remove it. Back into the abdomen. And I've got a piece of uh, olive poly chenille. And we just tack this in. Now this wants to be in at one side of the uh, wing case and then what we do is we fold that over and we come on the other side of it keeping everything on top of the hook shank tight into the abdomen again and then we go down the side 
of the first. Good. Just check that that's right. Yeah, that's looking good. I've got an olive cock hackle which I want to tie in by the point here like so because I want these fibres, these hackle fibres to be longer as they go when I wrap it as I go forward. We'll just go down to that and then we'll trim off all that tidy up a wee bit there and we go back into there and we have a piece of very heavy you can, here you can use whatever colour you like uh, lime green chartreuse yellow are very popular colours so we just strip off a bit of the uh, chenille to reveal the core and we'll tie this in on top again. Now the only reason for doing this is that we don't get a super build up of materials under the thorax and it gets all too big. Trim that off. There we are, go forward and we take our thorax, our yellow chenille. This wants to be nice and tight but still even you don't really want to overlap this so we go to there and then we we'll tie that off on top two or three turns go in front and then we want to cut that off as close as we can without removing our tying thread of course then we'll take our hackle we want to run this so all the fibres are pointing slightly backwards and in between each turn of the thorax chenille. Fibers going wrong there. There we are. I'll just tack that in. Secure it, pull it back. Carefully remove that. Could have took a little bit more off that. There we are. Want to go back just a wee ways. That's looking good. And then we take our polish chenille wing case, pull all the fibres down at each side, make sure it's in position on top. That's good. And then we can remove that. Oops. Start at the hook eye and work our way up to form the head. Uh, whip finisher. Put one in and we'll put another one in. Um, 
remove that. Give the head a varnish. And that's the finished Montana damsel. If you enjoy the videos, please like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching.